Today we're heading up to Dill Dinkers, an indoor pickleball facility in Columbia, Maryland. I'm Laura. And I'm Rob. Together we enjoy traveling and playing pickleball. We review pickleball courts and we'll take you with us as we find fun and exciting places to visit and play in the U.S. and around the world. We're all checked in. Let's, Let's play, play some, some pickleball. pickleball. Well, we're here this afternoon with Denise and Will Richards, the owners of Dill Dinkers. Thanks for chatting sure, today. Sure. How did you guys end up choosing to do this? Well, it started with Denise, who came home one day with a couple pickleball paddles, okay. and uh, we went and played at a tennis court. We kind of liked it. And then we just started playing at a place called Owen Brown here in Columbia. Yep. And then we just went out and bought better paddles and then more and more people started joining our group. Yep, started having so much fun we got addicted as like everyone else does yeah. with pickleball and um, we just couldn't stop playing. What about the barn? I heard you guys in the <laughs> middle of the winter, now I've played outside a lot in the cold. Uh -huh. You guys found shelter or somewhere to, to hide. So um, we went to visit our friends in Pennsylvania. The only indoor place that had was anywhere nearby was a barn, an old riding arena. So we went to this barn and we were amazed. There was only four courts, no heating. There was no bathroom. Did it have lights? Yes. Was lights. That's oh, all so you could go the... into the evening and play. Exactly. We just played there, we had a great time, but Will couldn't give up the idea of, wait a minute, if they can do this with no heating and air conditioning and bathrooms and four courts, we can do this. Well, we got the idea in February by March, we had a group of investors. We had our first lease in April, and we opened in November. I love your color scheme. How did that come about? So my daughter was home from college on break, and she's a marketing major, and she was in the kitchen making a sandwich. So I said, Abby, if you were to name an indoor pickleball place, what would you call it? And she kind of, she's never played pickleball. She said, well, I would call it dill dinkers. I ran upstairs and told her, and she said, that's it. <laughs> so I came back down, I said, Abby, that's the name, so can you help us with the brand? Within two hours, she had drawn the pickles, the pickle people. Uh, she hand drew them. That's so fantastic. that's how we got our logo and our and name. That, and then from there, you, she had a color scheme with that, and so we, it just devolved from there. So the color scheme was on the branding, and then we included in the courts and the furniture, and it just sort of spread. Everything just went yeah. from there. Well, mm -hmm. it, it pops. It looks really Thank cool. You. Thank you. There's some news of some upcoming additions to your courts here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So we're um, expanding this location, we're adding six more courts, and in about six weeks we're opening up another facility in a place called Pinksburg, so that'll be open in the middle of May. Thank you guys, thanks so much yeah. for All chatting right, with you. me today. All right, thank you. I'm here with Brian Lloyd, co-owner and on-site pickleball pro at Dill Dinkers. Rob and I just finished up with some open play. We know that's one of the formats you have yep. to offer here at Dill Dinkers. So I'm just curious, what other formats do you have? Yeah, so open play is one of our most popular ones. That's where anyone of any level, beginners, intermediates, advanced players can come and we break it up by courts. I think everyone loves pickleball when you're playing at like level, so we really try to enable Excellent. that. Uh, different than other facilities, we try to limit the number of people too on a court so you don't have 20 paddles waiting to get in. Uh, so we limit it to six um, and then they rotate in uh, and we have really good feedback from folks. Um, so we do the open plays a lot, usually in the mornings and in the evenings. Uh, we are starting to add a lot new formats to make it more challenging and fun by certain levels. So we're doing a king and queen challenge court. Uh, so we have 24 people, so it's for four 
per court, we do it by level. Mm -hmm. uh, and that one actually, winners move up a court, losers move down a court and split. So at the end of the two hours, mm -hmm. the king and queen are vying for the championship on court one. We have kids clinics, we're doing a teen for 11 to 16 year olds and have a pizza and pickle. So yeah. trying to get that uh, group and audience. We're just actively right now have 13 leagues, 325 people from 36 newbie beginners. Uh, I do a 15 minute uh, teaching intro each week on something different, a different aspect of the game. And then they're playing for an hour and a half with like level people that are all in the same situation. All the way up to high level leagues that we have or high level open play that is duper rated 4.5 and above. Uh, and we offer that as well. Wow, sounds great. Sounds yeah. like you have all levels we covered. We do have a lot. We do have <laughs> a lot. It sounds yeah. like anyone who's coming up here, they probably can find what they're that's looking really, for. That's really what we're trying to do. And to be honest, that's the beauty of pickleball. Because it's a sport that spans age, it spans athletic ability, uh, and really allows you to cater to that audience. And that's what we're trying to do. We want beginners to feel welcome here. And we have a lot of different options for them. And we want the advanced players to come and get that challenging advanced level play to prepare them for the tournaments that they want to be in. Uh, someone who's never played pickleball, maybe been out once with yep. a friend or something, if, yep. if they were to come up, you know, what do they need to bring with them? Yeah, no, it's a great question. Uh, they really don't have to bring anything. They just have to bring a smile on their face, a good attitude that, to come and learn, you know, how to play pickleball. Uh, we take care of everything else. So we okay. have a great partnership with Yola, uh, with paddles, so we have any kind of demo paddles that they can use. Uh, we just ask them to bring a water bottle, stay hydrated, um, you know, court shoes if they have them. Mm -hmm. But basically it's just coming, be prepared to learn and have some fun. So no excuses, come out and uh, that's right. come out and play. That's come right, out we got everything try. taken care of. It, yep, they don't need anything yep. and that's awesome. I love the come out with a smile on your face because I think that's what pickleball yeah, that's is what all about. Pickleball does. It's, I mean, that's what I, that's what, <laughs> that's what I gravitated with pickleball is it's just, it's fun. You know, I'm a pretty competitive person, so I immediately got into it and wanted to get better and better. And that's the beauty of pickleball. I've been playing for six years, and I'm still learning new aspects of the game that challenges me to get better. Well, thank you very much, Brian, for taking the time You're to welcome. talk with us. We really appreciate it. From Dill Dinkers in Columbia, Maryland, I'm Rob. And I'm Laura. I'm Colin Johns. Keep traveling and keep playing.